Continue where I left off in the last video, Rapid Notes Integration Using TDI. Uh, there I exported my contacts list to CSV and then to vCard format. In this video, I'm going to import contacts. Here in TDI, I still have my Notes Integration config open. And this, as I mentioned in the previous video, is available for download from the tdiusers.org site. So we'll just create our new assembly line. This one will be called Import Contacts. Now we'll need a connector and feeds here to read in the contacts that we want to write to notes. And I have a file prepared for this. So we'll grab the file system connector, call it Read Contacts, and then I set it to Iterator Mode. Iterator Mode will then pump the data into the assembly line so that other components can work on it. For example, write it to notes. When we choose the file, here's my contacts list in XML. So this time we'll need the XML parser. Now we can discover the data in this file. And I can see from these attribute names that this, this is information coming from an LDAP directory. So we'll just select them all with Control A and then drag them into the map. All right, so now we have our data. Now we need to reuse the connector we used in the previous video, our notes connector using a local client session. But this time we need it to be in an output mode. So I could choose Add or I can choose Update. Update allows me both to add new and modify existing, so I'll choose this one. Now for this connector to be able to identify if an entry is new or existing, I have to set up a link criteria so it can perform a search to see whether or not that document is in place already. And then we'll match the full name in notes with the CN or common name that we're reading from our XML. Now in the output map, we're going to have to write uh, the field names according to the notes person template. If I grab the common name, that's going to be called in notes full name. Then I've got the surname here, and that'll be last name. But I see I don't have any given names, so I'm going to need to write uh, a little bit of script to get the given name or the first name out of the full name by subtracting the last name. And I need in the middle initial as well, so I'll have to do a little bit of scripting there. Plus, I'll need to return both the form and the type of this document. Now, instead of doing this, I've already prepared this in an attribute map. So let me just remove the work I just did, and instead drag over this attribute map that's already ready. So here we can see my script snippets, which are bringing in the variables uh, surname and, and common name, and then using some Java string manipulations to get this down to the first name, and the same for the middle initial. Once this is in place, we can run it. But I think I'm going to add in addition the same display function or script that we had in the previous video. But instead of being called full name, this is now called CN. And then we can actually see that it's working. There we go. So now, if we give our notes database a chance to swallow this, in a moment, we should be able to go then to our notes interface and refresh this and see that these new contacts are in place. This works with any type of NSF that you have. So any application that you want to integrate to other data systems can be done just this easily using TDI. And that's the end of this part two video.